is going on guys my name is poker rev and welcome to the poker cave i'm here from my spaceship we just landed and i'm bringing all of you with the alien luck now it's a common myth to believe that aliens are out to get you we're actually really friendly once you get to know us a little better so hop on into my spaceship later tonight and i will make sure to take very good care of you uh, what is going on right now? What are you doing in here, alien? How did you even get into the Poke Cave? You literally zap yourself in here. Okay, you're gonna have to move out of the way because we have a show today. I don't know if you know, but we're opening up something basically from another planet. So if you guys are here and we're actually live right now, that's the thing. So alien, um, really awesome to see you here, but dude, like, I don't know, again, how you got in here, man, like, are you, if you promise not to do anything weird or try to attack, like, humans or anything like that, we'll let you stay in here and possibly bring us the luck, so if you guys want alien here, hashtag alien with the alien emojis, and let's jump into this legendary collection booster box opening right now, so... Give me one second. Okay, we're good to go. Mike is good. Let's get it started. So we got Alien in the house, bringing us the luck. We're going in on a legendary collection booster box. This is going to be an insane opening. We're going in on 36 booster packs now. If you guys know, in this set, every single booster pack is going to have a reverse fireworks pattern holo card. So every single pack is going to have at least one hit, possibly... Two hits if you pull the hollow and the reverse, guys. There are cards in there worth thousands and thousands of dollars. And PSA 10, I don't want to talk anymore about it. I just want to jump into it. So, guys, let's get the alien emojis. Let's get the luck going right now and get it started. And we're going to go in and open up all these packs. So, what I'm going to need to do is get the knife out here. And we're going to jump into it. And we're going to crack open this box. And it's going to be crazy, guys. I can't. Even, I can't even begin to tell you guys how excited I am to do this. So here we go. Going in with the crack. Ooh. Cutting the seal, guys. This is a legendary opening, if I do say so myself. So here we go, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you guys so much for being here. We're already over 700 live viewers in the Poke Cave. So the wrap is coming off the Wizards of the Coast wrap. Let me fix my mic a little bit here. Oh, okay, we should be good now. We should be good. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. But here it is. Legendary collection. Wrap is off. Let's pop the top open. Let's see what we could do in here. Oh, are you kidding me? See, I thought it might have been in there. We have a Charizard box topper to start it off. I saw some glow in it. I wasn't sure what it was, but it ended up being the Charizard box topper. One of four different box toppers you can get in here. This is what I'm talking about. We haven't even opened a pack yet. And we're already pulling the fire out of here. Charizard box topper. The other four, well, there's four total. Dark Blastoise, Charizard, Raichu, and I believe Mewtwo is another one. So let me get a bag. Do I have a bag here? Yeah, let me, let me try putting it in this. I had separate bags for these before, but these are actually really difficult to grade because the back, see, that shows the whole um, list of all the cards in here. So check it out. That is sick. A Charizard box topper to start us off with the luck. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna put it right back there and we're gonna jump into this booster box opening. Now, where is my list? Oh no. What did I do with my list of all my names? Hang on one second, guys. Where'd I put it? Oh no. Where is it? Is this it? Yes, this is it. Okay. No need to panic, guys. I have it right here. There's so many people opening this box. I'm so excited. All right, guys. We're gonna start it off with the one. The only alien is going in on this booster box opening, and we got to mix them up. But alien's going to start off, so let's get the alien emojis in the house. We're going to mix all these up. So, guys, you got to check out the artworks first. We got the legendary birds on one of these. We got the starters Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise. We got the Evolutions, Flareon, Vaporeon, and Jolteon. We got another one with Mewtwo, Machamp, and Alakazam. Oh, guys, you tell me right now which one of these pack arts is going to be your favorite in this set. I want to know right now which is your favorite. I can't even pick. These all are so awesome. So we're going to do what we normally do here. We're going to mix all the packs up. 
But if you guys can't tell, I'm really excited to open this up because Legendary Collection is a, a set that just brings the fire, like, as they say, right? As the kids say, it brings the fire. Like, I can't make this up. Every single pack will have a hit. So every single one of these, whether you get the reverse holo or you get a holo as well, that's going to be a double hit. Like I said, there's some reverse cards worth thousands of dollars. I know like the Gengar is very expensive. Charizard, um, there's Blastoise. There's so many of these. I want to make sure I get these mixed up really nicely here because this is a, this is going to be a big one, guys. So let me know which one of these pack artworks is your favorite. I might go, I might have to stick with the OG starters. But, you know, they're all really awesome, honestly. Even, like, the one with the Mewtwo, Machamp, and Alakazam. All really cool. So, I'm randomly putting these back in here. And I still can't believe that we are opening these up right now. It's honestly... It's a dream to open this set up. This is for sure in my top 10 favorite sets. To be able to open up here with all of you guys in the Poke Cave. So, we're almost ready to get started. And we're going to start off with the one and only Alien himself. I don't know. You have quick... Quick hands to be able to get the orders in fast, but you got number one spot. So starting off with Alien with the first pack on the left. And you know what? You made a request to have your pack cut open on the top. Do I have scissors is the question. Oh, no. Okay. Alien, I do not have scissors. I'm so sorry. I have to open it up the old-fashioned way. Hopefully you, for you can forgive me, but maybe I can find you another empty pack artwork out of here. But we got the starters to start it off for Alien. And, of course, guys. Well, let's check out the back real quick. Let's check the back out here. They're big, they're bad, they're all-time favorite Pokemon from the Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red Game Boy games. Back in action, the all-new Pokemon Legendary Collection card set. Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, and many more of the most powerful Pokemon ever are on the prowl again. And if that wasn't exciting enough, special foil versions of each Pokemon in the expansion can be found in random boosters. The set contains over 100 cards. So... This, they took all the good sets. They took base. They took file collection. And it is a legendary set. I can tell you that much. These are the first ever reverse hollow cards to be coming out of here. And it is it. I don't think there's a pack trick to these. I forget. I always forget. I never check. I always forget to check. But here we go. We're going to start it off with Charmeleon. Just to get the fire sparked a little bit. We got the Charmeleon. See, these are the first two cards. Charizard and Charmeleon. Are you serious right now? Charmeleon, Charmander, and Charizard. If this is going to be a fire opening, this is going to be a sign that's going to tell us that it's going to be a fire opening right here. So this set in particular is going to stick with the themes in each pack. So there's going to be duplicate cards in packs. So you might see more Charmanders or more Charmeleons in this because these, this set was aimed towards the players to build decks. So we see we have another Ponyta. We have a Vulpix. And I'm taking this a little bit slow, guys, because this set is insane. We got an Energy Retrieval. We got a Vulpix. Woo, guys. An Eevee. Now, the popular Pokemon, all of these non hollows I'm going to tell you guys, and I'm going to tell you Alien, all these non hollows are such popular Pokemon that you can easily, they can easily be valued in a PSA 10, 30 to 50, even more dollars than that. Or even a higher price than that. This Eevee especially. The Charmander and Charmander. I mean, all these are really popular. I think we're going to hit our first reverse. If I did this correctly. Oh, it is a Hypno non-holo. So the reverse is the last card. So this doesn't have a holo. But that doesn't mean it's over. Because this is Legendary Collection. Everything. Every single pack is going to be fire. So Alien, I wish you luck, my friend. Maybe this will be the one that has the reverse Charizard. Oh, it's a Bulbasaur, though. That is still a really awesome card. And this is what I'm talking about. These are the reverse. Oh, gosh. Please open this bag up. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. All right, I'm going to gently put that down right there. Guys, this is the reverse cards that I'm talking about here. And this is a starter Pokemon Bulbasaur. And we're going to start it and check it off to see if it's the Poke Cave standards. So I can tell you right now, the centering is phenomenal. Look at the fireworks, guys. These are explosive dynamite reverse cards in here popping really nicely. Oh, let's check it out. That is beautiful. So one thing you want to look for is print lines on these reverse cards. And I don't see anything. I don't believe. Oh, wait, there's one. There's one on the left side there. So you can see that there's a print line there. So you're, it's going to be on PSA 
I've seen these. Sometimes they get caught up. It's probably going to be a 9, honestly, but we're going to have to see how it looks. That is the Bulbasaur. The back is looking really clean, though. A huge hit for Alien. Now, I have prices for all these next to me. The thing is, this set is huge. It's 110 cards plus 110 reverse. So it's like 220 plus the box toppers. Guys, it's a huge set. So Bulbasaur, I'm going to quickly see if I can find it, if I can, on here. And I'm going to tell you guys what this would be worth in a PSA 10. I don't know if it will hit the 10 or not. Oh, gosh. There's so many Pokemon on here. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to show you guys this real quick, what I'm working with here. So check this out. I'm going to put the Bulbasaur there, and I'm going to show you this list. So, all right, that's the, this is just the reverses. So check this out. Reverses. Reverse. All right, okay, so it's two, and then there's a third page there for the hollows. But Bulbasaur, no sales data. There it is. No sales data. So there hasn't been any sales data this year on the card. So it's anybody's guess. But we got the Bulbasaur to start off for the one and only Alien himself. So Alien. Thank you so much for being here. It's the first time we actually have you in the Poke Cave here. And check it out. Boom. There is your new updated look. Alien. You got the ET vibes going for you. Got the Bulbasaur card saver. And your pack, which... Sorry I couldn't cut it, but... Oh, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. So there we go. Alien himself with the Bulbasaur pool out of the first... Pack out of this box. It's already, like, going to be crazy. We're only one pack in, and I'm already losing my mind. So let's get going. Next up, we have Robert P. Going in with three packs. So we have Mewtwo, Machamp, Alakazam, the Legendary Birds. Legendary Birds again. So three packs for Robert. Let's see if we can give Robert P. the luck. And Robert is back at it again. I mean, we have everybody. Most people here, they've been here, you know, multiple times. So we get everybody on a first-name basis here in the Poke Cave. Let me check out some of these Super Chats. I'm sorry I've been missing some of these. Harley D with the Super Chat. Thank you so much. And Mystic Mew, Alien, can you teleport me into the Poke Cave? I'll give you some Poke Coins. Uh, I love it. Mystic Mew is here. Did I miss? I feel like I missed some. It only lets me scroll up so much. I'm so sorry if I missed any of you guys. But here we go. Let's get it going. Mewtwo, Machamp, and Alakazam. Let's go, guys. So what I'm going to do... You know what? I'll keep it. There's no way to do a pack trick then because it's the it'll be the hollow and then the reverse. So I can't do a pack trick. I mean, it's still basically a pack trick. It'll just be the hollow and then the reverse, which the reverse could be just as good, if not better than a hollow pool. We're starting with an Atomite. Ammonite. <laughs> Ammonite. Mysterious fossil back to back. Some people over the years have thought that some of these packs when they purchased them, were, um, like, repackaged or something, but they're not. This is how they are. Like, they have a theme to them. See, the Mysterious Fossil, if you're building a deck, it goes really well with it. Uh, we got the Fighting Pokemon, Geodude, Graveler. I know a lot of people like to get the theme for the water, the fire, because you can get the Blastoise, the Charmander. So this is from Rocket. Let's see if we can... Oh, we got a Gengar! Another huge hit! It is! This is going to be a double pack magic. I am officially going to say it right now. I'm going to lose my voice, possibly my mind. In this opening this is going to be a double pack for robert p who also has two more packs after this so let's go guys let's get the emojis the good luck going gengar i'm scared what's behind here i'm going to tell you guys that gengar is definitely one of the more tough ones to get if you can get this in a psa 10 you're talking 700 plus just for the hollow now we're going to look behind here first let's see if there's any hollow scratches or anything do we have anything on here hard to see i think i see a little line is that it next to him? On the, yeah, a tiny one going down the left side. If you can see it right there. But it's not bad. The centering is pretty good. We're going to see what the next card is. Come on. The boss's way. Is that all? That So check out that picture. You guys tell me if that looks normal to you. So we got the boss's way. But if you look, there's white around. And there's like a little. I don't want to touch it. I think that might be a little dust or something on the, that part right there. But I don't want to touch it in just in case it's not. But there's white around here. You guys tell me if that is normal on the boss's way. So you see that white around there, the left side and the in the bottom. That could be an error where it's misaligned, but I'm not sure. So if you guys could tell me in the chat, let me know. But there we go. The boss's way. Let's see if we have any print lines on this one. I want to see. I don't think I see any. They're hard to see if they are on here. You got to get a good angle. I don't see any on this one. So this one should be solid. The front is really well centered. Um, the back is looking really good. There's a little bit on the bottom left there. But other than that, 
This card looks really good. So that is Robert P's first pack. Now, this is only pack number one, and it had double hits in it. So this is what I'm talking about. This is why this set is incredible. It's like an opportunity that you don't get in any other set, really, is because, um, you know, this, you're going to get double hits. I mean, all day, you're going to get double hits out of here. So let me throw this in here. And we're going to keep moving on to the second pack for Robert P. Let's go, guys. We got already 1,400. I didn't even look until now. We have 1,400 live viewers here in the Poke Cave. So I got to tell you guys right now, if you're new here, this is the Poke Cave. My name is Poke Rev. We're doing Vintage Live Booster Box openings every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And this is going to be, or this is the one of the biggest ones ever. Legendary Collection released in the year 2002, I believe. It has every single pack is going to be a hit. Guys, you can't beat that. And it's some of these hits are going to be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. So this is the Ratata theme. We got Ratata, Raticate, Ratata, Bulbasaur. So that is a good one. So we're going with the Grass and Ivysaur. That's what I'm talking about. These non-hollows as well. And another Bulbasaur. I could see this card going for at least 40 bucks in a PSA 10 all day. Caterpie. Metapod. 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 We got... Kaboots Ops, non hollow. All right, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, Hitmon Lee kicking his way in. I'm going to always try to do this kick. Yeah, that's my kick for Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Lee reverse is in the second pack out of this three pack opening for Robert P. Let's check out this card. And it has the fireworks as well, like always. If you guys don't know what the fireworks are, again, this is the first ever reverse hollow cards. For Pokemon in the TCG, and they were the best. I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. They're the best. They're the best reverse holo cards in Pokemon, hands down. They never did it like this ever again. That's why this set, one of the reasons why this set is so valuable and sought after is these reverse holo cards, guys. Like how beautiful is that? We're going in on the third pack. Let me throw this one in a card saver too, real quick. That was the Gengar pool. So let's see if we can get another holo hit. Out of this third pack for Robert P. Gengar. All right. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time as well. I forgot to mention. And it's just like all the hollows in this set. Like the hollows, right? Gengar, Zapdos, Venusaur, Ninetales, Articuno, Dragonite, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Machamp, Blastoise, Gyarados, Charizard, Raichu. I mean, every hit in Legendary Collection besides like there's a few ones that aren't as popular Pokemon in there. But like... It's like eighty percent of the hollows in this set are huge. I gotta keep. I gotta remember not to do the pack trick. So we got another one with the mysterious fossils. Demos Gaming is in the house. Let's pull that firework Blastoise. This is so awesome. Thanks, Rev and Mods. Thank you guys so much, and thank you, Demos Gaming and things for always hanging out in the Poke Cave. That's the one thing I like the Poke Cave to be a place where everybody can come and hang out, no matter who you are, where you're from. It doesn't matter. You're always welcome in the Poke Cave. It's a positive place. No negativity here whatsoever. The mods keep it clean, and you guys are always out there helping one another out. Pokemon Trader, I believe. That is the rare. So we got one more big reverse coming up in this last pack for Robert. Let's make it count. Oh, we got a rare reverse. It is the Machamp. How beautiful is that? This is originally from Base Set. A beautiful looking card in reverse hollow form. It is a rare. So you get every card in reverse, and this one just happens to be the Machamp. Oh, so check it out. You could actually see the background even better on this without the hollow pattern that you see on Machamp's um, in, in like base set. And, and so you can really see it. Like I've never really looking at it now. It looks really cool. It's like a, I don't know how to explain it, but you could see like all these other arms in the background even better with the colors. It really pops there. A beautiful card. I don't think I saw any print lines either. These are notorious to have print lines, but sometimes you get them where they really don't have any. This one, the last few have been really good, actually. So, looking really nice on these. A beautiful Machamp. I want to check the price if I can find it on here really quickly for you guys. Because I know a lot of you are interested in prices on these. And um, TCG Revival and Blastoise93 took the time out of their day to, to find pricing all this stuff. And I just can't tell you guys how much I appreciate all everything that everybody does here for the Poke Cave. Um, and, and the whole community here. It's going to be tough to find this one. Where are Machamp? No sales data. This is what I'm talking about. This is a card where I don't know. We don't know what it's worth, but we know it definitely has a good value in a PSA 10. So if anybody wants to take a guess, let me know. I mean, the comments are open right now. If you're not in the live chat, 
click over there and talk and, and, and get to know one another and hang out. And this is Robert P's hit. So we got some really awesome hits. I mean, this, I believe, is a rare. This is a rare. And this one is a hollow. And then you got the boss's way. So a beautiful four hits. Plus, again, all the non-hollows, especially the popular Pokemon in here, are absolutely worth grading um, because they're just so hard to find, right? Like, nobody's opening up Legendary Collection booster boxes or anything like that. So here it is, Robert P. Going in. And the Gengar going in as well with the other reverses. And we're only four packs in. I I brought a stash of water in here. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I literally stocked up because I knew this was going to be crazy. And we're only four packs in. And I can't imagine how the rest of this is going to go if that's what we got so far. Okay. Let me adjust my camera a little bit here. We're like, we're losing it a little bit. Okay. Here we go. We got we to gotta center ourselves a little bit and prepare for this ridiculousness that's happening. So next, we got Josh W going in with one pack. We got the Mewtwo, Machamp, and Alakazam. And I appreciate all the kind comments and everything that everybody's saying in the chat right now. Somebody just said $700 to $1,000 would be a good guess for the Machamp in a PSA 10. That's what I'm talking about, guys. This set is unbelievable. Uh, the artwork's alone now. Again, this is these are our prints from Base, Jungle, Fossil, and Rocket. The first four sets. Now... A little extra thing in, in this set is the Mewtwo is actually was originally a dark, uh, Black Star promo. It is the only other card in this set that is not from those four sets. The boss's way. So it's cool they threw that in there. The Mewtwo is another awesome artwork. Um, they had to throw it in. I bet they were sitting there thinking like, wow, we need a Mewtwo artwork. We got to throw him in from, uh, from Black Star promo. Pikachu. That's one in a reverse. Is I don't know what the price is. I'm just gonna say I can't I can't tell you guys the price on all these because. It's going to take me forever to look through this list, which I completely appreciate being there to look over if I can see some of the prices. Another Pikachu, because Pikachu is a huge, hugely popular Pokemon, as everybody knows. Seedra. Voltorb. We got a Bill. Come on. Nidoking non-hollow for Josh W., but it ain't over. Like I always say, it ain't over till Rev sings, and Rev didn't sing yet. Because this pack still has another hit. Raticate is the reverse out of this pack. And it has the fireworks like all the other ones. I'm curious to see how this one is looking. So the silver sometimes are harder to grade because they're lighter. But as long as it doesn't have like a print line, I don't think it does. So I think it was just that first one that we pulled out of the pack um, that had that print line on that Bulbasaur. But these ones, not, I haven't seen any out of here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Nothing on the tops. There's a tiny one on the bottom left. We usually have an allowance for one or two minor things, and you can still get a PSA 10. So that is a beautiful card. The Raticate Reverse is the hit out of here. So everybody gets a guaranteed hit. Raticate was for Josh W. So we're going to throw these in the bag, and we're going to continue moving on with this legendary opening, this legendary collection opening. If you guys are enjoying it, Make sure, smash the like button if you don't mind, or lightly tap it if you don't want to hurt it. Lightly tap it, whatever you got to do. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. So, we got Luke K up next. Also going with one pack, so I'm going to tell you guys this right now. We got a lot, a lot of one pack people coming in. And another thing I want to tell you guys, for those of you that don't know, if you could see on here, there's little, there's little holes in here. See, there's a hole there, a hole there, there's one there, and there's one there. I never went over this with you guys, but in packs... Especially the older Wizards of the Coast air packs, they put holes in certain spots on these to um, to for the air pressure, right? Because if there wasn't any way for air to escape, these could pop and explode and things like that during transit, change in altitude, and everything like that. So some people think that if they see holes in their packs, that that's like a dead giveaway, that it's a fake or something's wrong with it. But have no fear, that is completely normal, and that they did it on purpose. So here we go, Drowsy started off. We got a Ghastly. I kind of like not having to do the pack trick. Haunter is a uncommon. Oh, okay. So they were like, ah, you know what? We'll throw him in as an uncommon. No biggie. So it was kind of it was kind of weird that they did have him as a rare in fossil since they had Gengar as well. So I guess maybe that's the way they see it. Ghastly a common, Haunter an uncommon. So I guess it makes sense. But Haunter was such a cool Pokemon from the anime that I think that's probably why they threw it in as a um a rare. So we got Slowpoke back to back. Dratini, that's another really nice hit. Dark Dragonair. This one also is uncommon in this set. A beautiful card. Dratini, Dragonair. Maybe we'll get Dragonite in here. That you can get. 
as a reverse. And Zapdos is the holo. So this one is going to be a two-pack magic hit. I love it. This is absolutely insane. We got the Zapdos as a holo, as the first hit. Now there's going to be a second hit. You guys ready for round two? It could be a Charizard. It could be way better than even what we got here, which is already insane. Let's check that holo real quick. Very, very nice. A beautiful card. Centering is beautiful. Let's see what we get. Oh, we have a full heal energy. That's just like a little extra bonus out of this pack. I'm going to put that there very carefully. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put these in a penny sleeve. But we got a trainer full heal. There's another one. Come in as a trainer reverse. You know what? I'm going to put that there because I want to put it in a card saver as well. And then the zap those very carefully. We're going to pick up here. We're going to put this one also in a penny sleeve as the double hit out of this single pack. A beautiful card. Legendary collection. They took the best of the best. They put it into one set. And then they, on top of that, they came out with the reverses that are like, unlike any type of reverse cards that you have ever seen in Pokemon and will ever see. If they ever brought these back, I would be mind blown if they had these. But a lot of people like the reverses even better than the hollows in this set. A lot of people, they desire to get the complete reverse Hollow set. So there it is, Zapdos and Full Heal Energy. Beautiful. Back to back. I love it. So we're going to keep moving on because we have Zachary M is going to be coming up next. Right after this, I'm going to throw these in here. And guys, I appreciate everybody again that's chatting in the live um, and all the, the comments and everything. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to read a lot of them right now. But some of these big time sets, try to stay as focused as I can. I'm not the best at multitasking. Now, Veronica was here the other night, if you guys watched. And it was, like, super awesome having her here. Plus, as a bonus, she was able to read chats out to me. And I was able to talk with you guys a little bit more. So, if you guys want Veronica back, let me know again. Hashtag Veronica. Legendary uh, Moji. What's up, Rev? Long time viewer, but usually hard to catch the lives. Out of work now, but at least I can join the Poke Cave. Just wanted to pay it forward. For all the awesome content and energy you bring. Thank you so much. I appreciate the super chat, the kind words, and being here in general. Anybody that's here watching the lives, I complete. I just, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys being here and watching this and being a part of the Poke Cave family. So, let's go. We got Zachary M with the two packs. I like it. We got two packs. So, really, we could potentially get four big hits out of here, plus all the non hollows plus the craziness. So, somebody was asking me on their packs. Um, they saw that the trading card game was kind of, um, it looked off center and the ink was all off center on these. So if you ever see these where it's like shifted, the ink isn't fully, the color isn't filling in on Pokemon, all this stuff, it's fine. It's just some of these, when they hit the press, they didn't, they didn't align it correctly. So the ink was shifted down when they filled them in. So this one actually looks pretty spot on. It's a little bit off there, but it looks pretty good. But yeah, legendary collection two for Zachary M. Robert P. Love the pools. Good birthday sign. Uh, good birthday. Sign the savers, please. Okay, I will sign the savers. I'm not sure. Uh, it's hard to read that full thing, but... Oh, yes. I got you, Robert P. Thank you again, and congratulations on the hits out of your three packs. I mean, that was awesome. You had some really nice hits in there. So, here we go. Zachary M. Let's see what we can do in here. Can we get the Charizard? So, we can get Charizard multiple times in this set. I mean, there's Dark Blaster. There's Raichu. There's everything. Nicholas Light TV is in the house. We're back in the Boca Cave. Time to pull some gems. Thank you so much for being here again, Nicholas. Always cool to see you. The Nidorans, Nidorina, Nidoran. We got a bill. We're looking for, we're, we're, I'm not going to lie, we're looking for everything. There's so many things to pull out of here. It's ridiculous. Grimer, Execute. Jinx, Uncommon. Oh, no, it's a rare. I'm sorry. That is the rare, the Jinx. We're going to finish it with Ponyta. Oh, <laughs> my heart skipped a beat. I don't know about you guys, but every time I see red, my heart skips a beat because you might, you know, you never know. It could be the Charizard, but Ponyta, a beautiful Pokemon, a beautiful card from base set. And you got the fireworks on this. Centering is really good. I mean, we got a good box again. Centering's really good. Let's see. I don't see the print lines. You guys tell me if you see anything on this card. It looks really clean. Top is good. The bottoms are good. This card is really good quality. And that's what you want to see out of these legendary collection boxes or these Wizards of the Coast boxes or really any box in general is the quality there. So we got one more pack for Zachary M. We're over 1,500 live viewers right now in the Poke Cave. So guys, if you're new here, there's got to be a lot of new people. I want to see how many new people are here. If you're new here, comment in the chat. Hashtag new. 
and let's see how many new people you, that are here. And plus, we're going to welcome you to the Poke Cave. Um, we do that every time for new viewers. I always like to welcome um, you know, new, new people here in the Poke Cave. And if you're not subscribed, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you'll get notified when we go live here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we open vintage Pokemon booster boxes. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, what is that? I saw CH. I saw CH. Is that going to be a Charizard? Oh, gosh. Butterfree. Okay. Oh, it's Charmeleon. So close. But still a really good hit. Did you guys see that? Oh, my stomach sank again. Two back-to-back -back on the red color. My stomach totally sank on that one. But that's a Charmeleon. That's still a really good hit. Um, it's one step away from the Charizard. So I'm curious what this one is going for in a PSA 10. If I could find it on here. Charmeleon. Where are you? Charmeleon, Charmeleon. I see Charmander. 900 for Charmander. Um, and Charmeleon, if you're on here, show yourself. Charmeleon. Charmeleon. No sales data. Because it's probably super hard to find in a PSA 10. But we got it right here. Charmeleon. Centering is beautiful. It's an all-around beautiful card. It's a really good hit. I can imagine what this could go for. If the Charmander goes for 900. Whoa, we got so many new people. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Guys, welcome to the Poke Cave. Welcome. I mean, I, if you don't know me, I'm, my name's Pokerev. And this right here, if you're wondering who this is, this is Alien. Now, Alien usually bring us, brings us the luck. And this is the first time he's ever been here in person. And he's just hanging out. I don't, I don't know if you want to high five me or what you want. Okay. Okay. He's there though. That's Alien. He brings us the luck. Um, you know, he kind of just sprinkles down the good luck from space. And this time for this opening, he thought it was such a big opening that he thought he'd be here in person for this one. So I can't thank him enough for being here because it really is working. Um, he's bringing the luck and we're still trying to see if we can hunt down that Charizard and all those. I mean, there's Gengar. I can't even begin to explain the amount of hits in this set. It's the most ridiculous set for hits. It's got to be for Wizard of the Coast. Here we go. Let's keep moving. Um, Francisco, he's going to get two packs. So we got one, two, two packs. So best of luck. See if we can get out of here. Two packs, two packs. I mean, so really you could get four big hits. You could get two reverse and you could get two hollows. That's the potential out of here. Now we have multiple shots at Charizards, at Venusaurs, at Blastoise. At, it's just ridiculous. Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. Squirtle Squad is going to show up. Watch, watch this. We got one Squirtle. We got a Dark War Turtle. That's from Rocket. That other one was from Base. The Pidgey was from Base. Squirtle! Squirtle, Squirt! We got two Squirtles. Let's get the squad. Tentacool. Come on, Squirtle Squad. Tentacruel. Okay. Tentacool. Can I get one more Squirtle? Potion. Okay, so now we're going to come up on the either hollow or rare non hollow. Ammonite. I made it up. Got to call last card at least once. Now we're coming up on it. I promise. Electrode, non hollow rare. That's okay because we get another shot here. It's like, it's okay. You get another shot. And the second shot, you always get something. Spiro is the reverse. Let's go. So, Spiro, jungle? Right? I can't remember. Spiro, what are you from? I'm having a, a brain fart right now. But that Spiro, was it jungle or fossil? I can't remember. I don't know why I can't remember, but Spiro is the reverse. Let's check it out. Looks good. I don't see anything. And it's really hard to see the centering. This card is so, like, can you even see the borders here? <laughs> it's pretty crazy with the shine. Like, this is the shine. I actually legitimately should have sunglasses on. Like, I should have got sunglasses before I opened the set because of the fire inside. Like, I, I, I can't even see because of the shine. It's blinding me. Like, if you see this in real life and the lights hits it, you actually get a glare. It hits you in the eye because it's so sparkly. All right. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. I think I missed something. Hang on one second. There it is. We got Adrian S. Poker Rep, thanks for an amazing stream. Let's say hello to my good friend, Wang. That is the first time here. Keep up the good work. Hey, thank you so much and welcome. Thanks for being here for the first time. I know a lot of people are jumping in here for the lives for the first time today, especially. We're coming up on 1,600 live viewers. I mean, everybody wants to watch this get open. So I'm really happy to see everybody showing up here and watching this all go down in the Poke Cave. We're going at a, a, a little bit of a slower pace here just because this is something that you never see opened up. And you got to take it in and enjoy every second of it. Doduo, Dodrio, Pidgey. Not the most popular. Okay, we got a Growlithe though. So we do have fire. 
Potion, again, these are were made for deck building. So you'll see duplicate you'll see duplicate cards. Ooh, that scared me. We got a Charmander. And that's a good hit for a non-hollow. I mean, I can't imagine what that would go for in a PSA 10, but it's gotta be something. Right, Alien? Okay. He agrees. Needle Queen, non-hollow rare. What are we gonna get as the reverse? Ratata! Whoa, okay. Not, I mean, obviously, it's not the most popular Pokemon. I can't imagine it being, um, you know, very expensive. But let's just check anyway, just to see here. Ratata, where are you? Ratata, 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 Tata, Ratata, 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 Tata, 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 Tata. I can't find you, Ratata, Tata, Tata, Tata. Ratata, I can't find you. I honestly cannot find Ratata. I don't know if it's even on here. Oh well. I'm not sure. If you guys know in the chat, let me know what a Ratata goes for in a PSA 10. Do people, you say Rattata or Rattata? I always say Rattata, but I've heard people say Rattata. So two reverses, Spearow and Rattata out of the two packs. But that was just two packs, and we still have a ton more to go. So I'm going to throw these in here, and we're going to continue down on this legendary opening. Here we go. Two packs in. Voila. And these are, and if you guys are wondering why these are going in bags, since you're probably new here, these all the cards go out to everybody that participated in the live openings, which you can find at thepokecave.com. Don't go just yet, because we're sold out on thepokecave.com. Stay till the end. I'll show you guys what the next box is that you can participate in. But you gotta stay till the end. Everybody's gonna see it at the same time. So, we're gonna continue on to the next page. There's a lot of people in this. We have John G back at it, going in with one pack and one pack only. Now, will the one pack magic happen here? Alien, come on, do something. Here, kiss it. I don't know. Whatever you gotta do, alien, make it happen. Wizard of the Coast Pokemon Collector. Hey, PokeRev, love your vids from the Poke K or from the UK. Welcome from the UK. Thank you for watching. I know it's a little bit later for you guys. Um, it's probably what, like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What is it? Probably like eleven o'clock or something like that for you guys. Maybe even closer to twelve. But thank you for being here. So, if I can get this pack, there we go. Ah, that, sometimes they don't want to. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, no pack trick. No pack trick. Got to remember that. Okay. We got a Machoke. We got a Machop. So we're going to have Machoke, Machop, Mankey, Primeape. You get the evolution of them. We got Poke Pat in the house. Diane M. Pika Spark. Steve F. Michael P. What's going on? Arceus Almighty is here. Blessing the packs. Woo. All right. Bless these packs. Let's get a Charizard out of this one. What do you guys think? Can we do it for John G? Can we get the Charizard? And it doesn't matter. Could you guys imagine? Hold on a second. Stop. Stop for a second. Could you guys imagine if we get a pack, we get the Charizard Hollow. Then behind that, we get the Reverse Charizard. Now I don't even know what a Charizard Hollow is worth in a PSA 10. I think it's got to be between seven, eight, nine, maybe even ten thousand dollars. The Reverse is like four to five thousand. Could you imagine if you have those back to back in a in a pack? It would be the the best possible combination that you could get. Oh, nine tails. <laughs> Yo, nine tails hollow, which is really good. Don't get me wrong, but every time I see the red, it's just so. This is a double pack hitter right here for John G. Alien. Thank you so much for that luck. Whoo, uh, this is like doing it for me. Like, I'm gonna probably pass that after this. Nine tails, beautiful card. It looks really good. And we're gonna get another hit. This is a, called a double pack magic. Watch this. Watch out. Oh, Dark Blastoise, yo, let's go! Dark Blastoise reverse! Probably even better than the Ninetales. Uh, probably. Hold on, I gotta sleeve this up before I say anything. Very careful here. Dark Blastoise, put that there. That is from Rocket. That is in reverse Ninetales. Shout out, Blastoise93. I see you out there. Whew. Ninetales. Stop for a second. Take this in. Take this in. Ninetales Hollow. Blastoise, Dark Blastoise, Reverse Hollow. This is why my mind is going to be exploding tonight. So let's stop. Let's take a breath. Hold on a second before I lose my mind. Okay. Beautiful cards, first of all. Dark Blastoise from Rocket. Nine Tails is from Base. Dark Blastoise has the fireworks, blue fireworks. I just, okay. So, so the, the Nine Tails in a PSA 10, you're looking at probably... About 500 bucks, which is really solid for a hollow. Now, when we move on to the Dark Blastoise, you're talking eight to nine hundred dollars in a PSA 10. This is double pack magic. This is why this set is legendary. Okay, guys, 
If you guys don't know, again, this set was released back in the year 2002. This is the potential that comes out of these, these packs. This is what I'm talking about. This is a huge double pack magic. Dark Blastoise. You, you, if these cards graded a 10, first of all, which, let's see. Back's pretty good. Back's actually really good. Centering is really good. The same with the Dark Blastoise. So let's just hold on a second. If you if both of these graded a PSA 10, you're talking close to like 15, 14, 1500 dollars in value just from the hollows. Just from the hollows, I'm sorry, and the reverse, because that's not considered a hollow. Then of course you get all the uncommons, which are all right here. And the empty pack. I mean, that's this is the potential. This is the potential for this set. This is why people love this set. This is why this set is in my top five favorite sets of all time. Top five sets that I wanted to be able to open here in the Poke Cave with all of you guys. That is why. So, John G., congratulations from me and everybody in the Poke Cave. Everybody gets excited for each other when we get pools here. Um, we really do. Swimming pools. However you say pool, pool. However you say it, that's what we do. Okay. Philip C., yo, what's up, Philip C.? Going in with one pack. And everybody here, we're on a first name basis. Philip, I was just talking to you before this. I literally said to Philip, I sent Philip an email. I was like, Philip, are you, are you in that? No, I didn't say that. He said he's in this. Philip says I'm in this opening. I said, Philip, if I owned a restaurant and you walked in, I would say, Philip, how you doing? And he would say, good. I'll take the usual. Like, that's what we are here in the Poke. We're like family. We're on a first name basis with everybody here. Do duo. Pidgey. So, Philip, let's see what we can get you out of here. Growlithe. Potion. Charmander. Char Char. Charmeleon. Charmander squad, if there was one, they would be right now. Ponyta, Rapidash, come on guys, we got a Pidgeot as the rare non-holo, so a non-holo, but Philip, there's huge potential as a second card, this is like a backup plan, backup plan could be better than the, the first one, Dark Dragonair, let's go, another huge hit, Dark Dragonair in reverse, hollow form, with the beautiful crystals in the background, the purple Pops, this is originally from Rocket Set. That's what I'm talking about. It's all right you didn't get a hollow because you literally got an insane reverse. So let's check that out. This is from Rocket. It's coming as an uncommon card, but it's a Dragonair, a very popular Pokemon, a very beautiful, sparkly, amazing card. Like, could you imagine if you had this set complete, like all of these reverses laid out, you would... You would 100% need to wear sunglasses. You could po you could possibly damage your eyes. That's how awesome this set is. You could damage your eyes from the crazy beautifulness in this set. So Dark Dragonair. Uh, we got to check the price on that one too. I just, I'm just i curious to see what this card would go for in a PSA 10. About 350 or so, I think. So that's pretty solid. I mean, for a reverse, Dark Dragonair. Beautiful card. A beautiful hit. There you go. Philip C., one pack magic. Well, I mean, it is all. <laughs> I can't say one pack magic because these all are basically one pack magic. But you get the idea. There it is. Philip C. Let's keep moving on. We're not even halfway through this. And we're like 40 minutes in this. So I'm sorry if this is a longer stream. But it has to be longer because this is just a beautiful set that needs to be seen. All right. Richard T. Let's go. Another usual here. Richard T. With one pack going in. Richard T, let's see what we can do for you. Everybody wish Richard Richard the best of luck. Hey, Taylor said, Poker Rev, I just bought my first vintage pack, a Pop Series 9. Yo, that is so sick. I love the Pop Series stuff. I'd love to open some of that on the channel. We got Thorson48, sending hollow pools. Good luck, get the Zard. Oh, we got we got Ando in the house. Unlisted Leaf says, bruh, Poker Rev, already pulled the Charizard. Technically, kind of. So check this out, Ando. I'm going to show you if I could grab it without knocking anything over. So, Ando. This was the box topper. Now, when you open the box up, you already know this. There's four box toppers. The Charizard was in ours. The Charizard box topper. This is just one version of the Charizard in this set. So there's still huge potential. We can get the hollow. We can get the reverse version of that in a normal card size. So we're doing big things. We're making it happen. And now that you're here, usually when you show up, we get some crazy luck. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see the Charizard in one, either hollow or reverse hollow form in here. Let's go. Come on. Slowpoke. Dratini. So you showed up just in time then. 
Dark Dragonair again, but this is the nine reverse form. Rhydon is the reverse, but as they say, it ain't over yet. There's something gonna there's gonna be something back to here. It's guaranteed. Eevee, yo, let's go. Another one. We got like three huge reverse hits back to back. Eevee is a very popular Pokemon. I'm gonna tell you guys right now that there are Eevee fans out there, and this is a beautiful artwork. Uh Eevee from Jungle, I believe. Yes. From Jungle. Let's check it out. So it does have it, this one actually has a little print line on the side there, I think. Yeah, so there's a little, sometimes you get them right here. I've noticed that on one other one. If there's going to be one, it's probably there. But it might be where, so if these were on a sheet, so maybe let's just say the left side is where the roller or something was, or whatever that spot was that's going to go down the line on something on the left side. So that's why we'll see a ton that don't have a print line because they're all on the sheet. And then when you get to the left side or whatever side it was on, or maybe even in the middle, who knows where it was, that line there is probably going to go down on some of them. So that's the good thing is that it's only on some of these cards. Not on all of them. So, that's a good sign then. But there it is. The Eevee. Boom. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Eevee. Voila. So, that was for um, Richard T. So, there we go, Richard. I'm going to throw these in here for you. With the Eevee Reverse. A beautiful card. I mean, any of these cards, it's like they took the original artwork and they said, let's just make it shine like crazy. Absolutely insane. Jordan says, Raichu underscore collects has the perfect smile. Hey, that's awesome. Everybody loves smiling. You know, it makes everybody happy. Right, Alien? Alien's even got, a, he's got like a half smile. I mean, he's smiling, I would say. I would call that smile. It's like, it's like just enough to be a smile. All right, so we have, who do we have next? Should I drop this? No. Okay, next we have Samuel V going in for also one pack. So that's another reason why this one might take a little bit longer because most people are getting one pack here, which is understandable. One pack magic can do it. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let's see what we can do with this Machop. We're not even halfway through this. So guys, if, if you want to grab a snack, like I'm being serious. If you want to grab a snack, go ahead. You got like, you got some time here because we're going through this whole box and there's potential in every single pack. We got over 1,600 live viewers right here in the Poke Cave. Whoops, I skipped one. Rhyhorn. So thank you guys so much for being here again for this craziness. Sand Slash. almost said Sand Shrew. Sand Slash. Sand Slash, Sand Shrew, Sand Slash, Sand Shrew. And Golem is the rare. But we got one more shot to make it happen. Come on. Oh, Tentacruel is the reverse. Let's go. Tentacruel. Reverse hollow form with the blue background to match with the water type. Let's throw this one in a card saver as well. Let's go. I see uh, Liv is asking, did he pull the Charizard? Not technically. That one's the box topper. Well, I did technically, but not technically. I don't know. If, <laughs> sort of. Sort of pulled it. It was on top. Out of You had a one in four shot, and somehow we had that one on top of this uh this one now sometimes you can kind of look a little bit and see through like the cracks and but it's still really hard to tell uh but i thought it might have been but i wasn't totally sure so luckily it, it was which actually kind of surprised me i was thinking it was the right shoe but it was hard to tell but anyway next we have who do we have oh jordan d going in for one pack now i think jordan actually has another pack a little bit later on i believe if i'm if i'm not mistaken Jordan has two packs, but goes in order from when you purchased it. So this was one order, and then I believe Jordan went in for another one. Oh, Jordan's... Oh, it's Jordan N. Okay. All right. Jordan N with the super chat. Eyebrows on me next time. Okay. So we got Magikarp. We got a potion. And thank you for the super chat. We got a Psyduck. We haven't seen that one yet. Now, again, this card is... a or This set is 110 cards. Golduck to go with the Psyduck. But you got to remember another Psyduck that it's really 220 plus the box toppers. There's another four. Plus there's non hollows you can only get in the theme decks. Charizard, Raichu, Mewtwo, I think. Dugong, we got a Seal. We got an Eevee. Come on, let's even get a hollow out of here for Jordan. Rhydon is the non hollow rare. But here we go. Drowsy is the reverse. Yo, let's get it. 
Drowsy. Voila. I love it. Reverse hollow with the fireworks. Beautiful card with the and each each again, each one of these reverse cards has like its own color theme, so whatever type it is. So the psychic will get the purple. Uh, I believe this is from Rocket Set, the Drowsy. And everybody gets a hit. That's the cool thing about this legendary collection. Booster box opening. And we're actually we're we're still getting more people joining up to this live uh, opening. We're at almost 1,700 live viewers. So if you're just joining up, I'm going to say real quick, we're opening up a Legendary Collection booster box from the year 2002 where we're going to have 49 hits. That's the amount of hits, like legitimately good hits out of this set that we're going to have. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the next person. It's going to be Andrew M. And I think we're almost done on the left side. So we're almost halfway through this um, booster box opening. Not quite yet, but we're getting there. It's a slow process, but it's worth every single second to me to take the time to open this with you guys and really take it in. Because honestly, this could be the last time we ever really open this set in the Poke Cave. And I'm not just saying that. It really is a really tough set to find. Um, a valuable set and, you know, a set that just keeps going up in value. So we got the Kadabra. We got an Abra. We got a Drowsy. Snorlax coming in as an Uncommon. So normally this was a rare in jungle, and they threw it in here as an uncommon. Well, I'll take it. Why not? Drowsy again. So we're going to see if we can get a hollow hit, maybe. Let's see what we get. Ghastly. Not, of course not yet. Executor. Non-hollow rare. But we're going to see what we get on the last card. There could be something back here. A Charizard, a Blastoise, a Venusaur, a Gengar. There's like so much potential. Needle King is the reverse. Yo, let's go. We got a rare as the reverse in this pack, which is always a good sign. So Needle King, a beautiful card. You got the green background this one. So let's see. Let's see if we got anything. So this is another good one. So I don't see anything on this, I don't believe. And then the, let's see the top and bottom. Really crisp. Cut really nicely. This is a beautiful card there. So the Needle King... And I'm going to throw this one in a card saver. Let's see if we can check the value on this one really quickly. And, 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 and. Nido King, where are you? Need Arena. Where's Nido King? Nido King is. There it is. 200 bucks. So not bad. A $200 reverse. And it's just and like, that's what I'm saying. Just for a reverse in this set. There's always a backup plan in these packs. And, which sometimes could be the full plan. I mean, better than the hollow. Like, you could get a hollow, and then you could get a reverse that's even better. Then you're hollow. But there it is for Andrew M. We're going to continue. We're almost halfway there, but we still have a ton more to go. Let me know right now in the chat if your team Charizard, Blastoise, or Venusaur. Do a hashtag Charizard, hashtag Blastoise, or hashtag Venusaur to see which one is, is going to get you know the most votes. But Because you can pull all of those out of here in either hollow or reverse hollow form or both. So here we go. Let's continue. We still got a bunch more to go. We got Jeremy R with one pack. So Jeremy, oh, there's actually another one down there too. So we're even further away from being halfway done. So Jeremy's getting one pack. Let's see what we could do. We got the Legendary Birds artwork on here. We got Alien right next to me with the luck. And we got a Charmander to start off this pack. And a Charmeleon. So this is the theme in this one. Charmander, Charmeleon. I keep skipping sometimes on these. Ponyta. We got a Rapidash. Another Ponyta, a Vulpix. So is this the one that's going to have, we got Energy Retrieval. We got a Vulpix. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, Dark Vaporeon, let's go. Dark Vaporeon as a hollow out of this back. This one's originally from Rocket. And this is one of the evolutions that you can get out of this set. So a Dark Vaporeon in a PSA 10. What is that worth? Dark Vaporeon. $1,500 or more. Yo, this must be a really hard one to get in a PSA 10. Let's check it out. Let's check this one out. Wow. I'm not seeing anything, I don't think. No. I don't see anything on that hollow. The centering, really good. Like, spot on centering. All right, we're going to see what the next card is before we look at the back of this one. Because there's going to be two hits. Got to be careful here. Muck! Yo, okay. We got a Muck Reverse, and I think this one normally is a rare, yeah. 
Is it a rare? It is a rare. So it's a rare on top of that. And it's a muck reverse. So I'm going to throw both of these in a penny sleeve. We're going to take a closer look at them. We got double pack magic here for, um, who is this for? I'm sorry. Jeremy. Yeah. For Jeremy. So Jeremy got the dark Vaporeon. So that it's a little bit off left to right, but it's not bad. It should, it's hard to tell, but it should, it could still be in the parameters. The back's looking pretty good. Dark Vaporeon. I'm going to throw this one in a card saver as well. That's the one pack magic. So, and I think that Muck might have had a print line. Let me check it out. So I had to put it down quickly. Yeah. So if you check this Muck out, there's a print line going that way. If you guys can see that. So right there. If you see, catch it in the light, it goes like right across like that. But that is still a double pack hit with the Muck. And the Dark Vaporeon, which is a huge card to hit. A beautiful card. Absolutely. Somebody just said clean pool. Sweaty Johnson. Yo. What's up, Sweaty Johnson? Love seeing you here, Sweaty Johnson. All right. So here we go. Jeremy R. Who else do we have here? Michael K. Mr. Mint. We got Dominic Murphy. All right. Jared F. says this is my first stream. Boom. All right. There it is. Let's continue down the list here for the next person. And this is actually pretty awesome. So we got Chris the Fur. Now, when you say, like, Chris the Fur, this is literally the name. Chris the Fur. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. That is a classy name. So Chris the Fur. Let's see if we can get you. Alien. Bless this pack for Chris the Fur. There you go. Do what you got to do. Just use your telekinesis or, or whatever. Something. Whatever you use, Alien. Shine it on this pack for Chris the Fur. So, guys, let's get a little luck in the chat. Let's get the alien emojis. I know we got the aliens here. Bring in the luck, but literally right here. Bring in the luck. We got Sandshrew, Sandslash, Sandshrew, Rhyhorn, Doduo. I bet you it's going to be a Dodrio. Ooh, just predicted the future. It's going to be a Doduo. Ooh, just predicted the future. It's going to be a, I don't know, Bidgey, Growlithe. It's red. Oh, yo, Flareon. Let's go. Another evolution back to back. Originally from Jungle. Oh, this is one of my... I, I can't say if it's my favorite evolution or not. There's so many awesome ones, but it's definitely up there. The Flareon. And this one also is looking really well centered. Oh, this one's got to be a potential. I don't see anything. That hollow is so crisp. The, it's just beautiful. Evolves from Eevee, but let's see. Evolves from Eevee with the stone, of course. Snorlax! That is a huge hit. I'm going to put these. I got to be careful. I want to yell because I'm really excited, but I also want to be really careful with these because now I got two rare cards to protect here and make sure that they're okay. So Flareon, a beautiful card. Let's check the back out. Look at that. Beautiful. There's a tiny little, tiny, tiny bit up there. Um, a tiny little itty bitty thing there, but I, that has a, a shot. I mean, that has a shot. So let's check it out. So a, va a Flareon in a PSA 10 is about 350 to $400. Well, that's surprising. And the Vaporeon is over $1,500 roughly. And these are estimates, of course. It's hard to tell with this set especially because it's just, the it's so hard to find this stuff. But then we got a Snorlax, which is a really popular Pokemon, first of all. Second of all, it's a rare. No, they, they put it in uncommon in this set. Excuse me. So it isn't uncommon in this set, but it's Snorlax. Originally a rare in jungle. And it has the silver. It has like the silver background. So usually that means it's a little bit harder to grade. Um, just because uh, it's you could see things a little bit easier when it has that light background. But a Snorlax, I'm going to check. I'm going to check as fast as I can. Because uh, I'm curious myself, and I'm sure some of you guys are too. Snorlax, no sales data. Another one that we can't find anything on. It's tough to find on some of these cards. A lot of these cards, it's hard to find because, you know, you don't see them graded that much. And I'm sure the populations on a lot of these are still super low. Um, I know, uh, well, let me put this in here. I'll tell you guys a quick story. So, Christopher, you guys are luck, my friend. Maybe we'll see you again. Chris, the fur. Chris with the boots and the fur. All right. Christopher was blessed. Then we got Simon W. Boom. So Simon W. 
So we're on, we're finally halfway through the box. But Simon W is getting one pack and one pack only. So guys, left side we didn't get the Charizard yet, but we got some really nice pulls. And I mean, guys. Oh, and Trainer Trey taking care of the uh, pull list. I appreciate it. We got Trainer Trey in the house. We got Blastoise ninety three. We got TCG Revival. We got Pete the Pac Man. They're all hanging out in the chat right now. They're all awesome. And check it out, Trainer Trey with the rundown. Charizard box topper. We got the Bulbasaur reverse. The Gengar Hollow. The Boss's Way reverse. The Hitmonlee reverse, the Machamp reverse, the Raticate reverse, the Zapdos Hollow, the Full Heal reverse, the Ponytail reverse, the Charmeleon reverse, the Sparrow reverse, the Rattata reverse, Nine Tails Hollow, Dark Blastoise reverse, Dark Dragonite, Eevee reverse, Tentacle reverse, Drowsy reverse, Nido King, Dark Vaporeon reverse, Smuck reverse, Flareon Hollow. So we're five Hollows in. So we still got a ton more hits to go. So this is a Machop, and this one was for Simon. So Simon W, we got a Mankey. Primate, I bet it's going to be a Mankey. Ooh, predicted the future. Onyx. I don't know what's going to be next. Potion Energy. Rhyhorn. It's going to be a Rhydon. Bet. No. Sandshrew. Sandslash. Sandshrew again. Golem. Oh, we're at the rare. So Golem, non hollow rare. But let's finish it strong. Jinx is our reverse hollow with the purple background. The original Jinx from base set with the fireworks. A beautiful card here. Let's see. So the back on this one is actually off a bit left to right there. You can usually have it off somewhat. But the centering on these, what I really like for these reverses is check this out. The centering is like spot on on pretty much all of these that I've seen so far. So that is really good sign there when you got the centering looking really nice. I'm going to throw this in a card saver too. Or a card saver one. Not a card. I'm saying I'm going to put it in a card saver as well. But it's a card saver one. I don't want to get you guys confused with what I use. I use card saver ones. So there it is. Card saver one with, and you got to put a penny sleeve in first. So penny sleeve your card, then put it in the card saver one. I don't use top loaders. Um, I don't like top loaders because the card can fall out. If you turn the top loader over and you shake it, uh, it could get damaged. So that's why I, I like using the card savers. So Simon, there you go on your hit. So next we got Jeffrey K. Jeffrey K is going for one pack. All right, Jeffrey. And Ollie's here. Ollie says, just spoke. Oh, I just lost it. What'd you say, Ollie? My list. There it is. Just spoke with the mothership. Next pack is going to be the Zard. Yo, Ollie, let's go. All right. All right. This is it. This is going to be the one that has... Let me let me take a swig of uh, of water here because this is, an, this is a really intense opening. This might possibly be one of the top most intense openings. All right. Let's go. Okay, leave me hanging. All right, Alien. I see how it is. Come on. Whatever it is, Alien, just make sure this pack has the Charizard in it, my friend. All right. Here we go. Ponyta. We got a Vulpix. Ooh, I'm seeing the fire. That's what we need. The fire emoji. Bring the fire emoji because we got an Alien right here. We need the fire. Eevee. Arcanine. It's working because we're getting fire Pokemon out of here. Which is a good sign. We got a Rattata. We're coming up on the rare. After this one, Raticate. Come on. Let's get a Charizard. Executor is the rare. But we still got one more shot. We got our backup plan, which could be a plan of itself. Rhyhorn Reverse. Not bad. Rhyhorn. It is a common Pokemon, but it's from Jungle. Yeah. This one's from jung Yeah. Jungle? It's hard. Sometimes I get Jungle and Fossil cards mixed up. Uh, because they're so close together. But anyway, Rhyhorn, a beautiful card. Check it out. The centering on all these is really nice. I don't think I see anything. I'm looking through the penny sleeve though, but I don't I don't see anything. I don't see I don't I think I see any. No. I don't see any print lines. So and for those of you guys that are not sure what I'm looking for here, basically we send cards to PSA and when you send cards to PSA you want to make sure it's as flawless as possible. So you look to see if the card is centered. The borders should all be the same amount of distance away. The back, you don't want to have any type of whitening or as little as possible. And you want to make sure there's no type of print lines or anything. That's going to make your card have a way better shot at getting a PSA 10 or a PSA 9. Which, nowadays, 9s have been going up in value quite a lot. So, there you go, Jeffrey. With your hit. Now, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to do a quick rundown of... The hollows that you can get out of here. Just so you guys can get your refresh your mind at the epicness that's in here. Gengar, Zapdos, 
You can get Venusaur, Ninetales, Alakazam, Articuno, Dragonite, Persian, Vaporeon, Flareon, Jolteon, Machamp, Blastoise, Hitmonlee, Gyarados, Charizard, Raichu, and there's a... Did I say Muck? Yeah, Muck and Slowbro. But that's... I think that's the rundown of all the hollows. Then, of course, you can get all of those in reverse as well on top of that. And the whole entire set you can get in reverse. So just to refresh everyone's memory here and all the cards that are in this set are really epic. It's the Legendary Collection. I mean, look, Gengar, Venusaur, Pidgeot. You got the starters there, the Legendary Birds. I mean, it's just everywhere you look on this box, it's just epicness. Because there's epicness in this entire set. So, let's get it. This one is going for... Oh, I lost my spot. Hang on one second. I got so many pieces of paper here and all kinds of stuff. Because the set's huge. But, oh, Jordan D's back. Okay. Yeah. So, Jordan D is going back in with another pack. So, let's see if Jordan D can get the luck here in this second pack. Boom. Jordan D, let's go. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. We got a Caterpie. Metapod. We got so many chances at getting huge cards out here. Nidoran. Nidorina. Nidoran. Bill. The classic Bill from base. You got to love it. What do you think, Alien? Yeah. You got some, like, dust on your face? No? Okay. Okay. Execute. Oh, I'm slipping. Meowth. I think this is something. Yo! Jolteon! We got the Dark Vaporeon. We got the Flareon. And now we got the Jolteon. Yes! Yo, this is from Jungle. Yo. Shout out to Gem Mint Pokemon, by the way. Favorite artwork is the Jolteon. It probably has so many of these cards. Oh, man. Jolteon in a PSA 10. In this set, like 600 bucks. How's it look? I gotta be careful because there's a reverse back there, so I can't do too much moving around. But from what I can see, it's a beautiful card. It's like the Poke Cave standards that we always get here. Let's go. Let's see if we can get something even better. Can we do it? Yes, we can! We got the Venusaur! I gotta be careful again. Gotta be careful. We got the Venusaur as a reverse, one of the OG starters. Yo! Yes! This is. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Hold on. This is this is one of the best packs so far. Besides the other one that had the what was it? The Dark Dragonair and the and the Blastoise was. Yeah. So we got Venusaur and Jolteon. Yo, like how how sick is this? Jolteon Hollow and Venusaur Reverse. But I gotta find the Venusaur. I'm very curious to know what this card is worth in a PSA 10. Venusaur, where are you? Venusaur, Venusaur, Venusaur. 700 bucks. And like 600 or that. So you're talking like $1,300 in cards if they were to pull PSA 10. So we got to check the quality on these real quick. Let's see. Very carefully here. So. I don't see anything on this Venusaur, guys. Yep. Nothing. Beautiful card. Centering. Flawless. You got the fireworks. Let's check the back. Now we do have a little bit of Nick on the bottom left. Bottom, uh, top left. So, you can usually have, like, one to two small things. So, this has potential for sure. The Jolteon on the front was looking really good. The centering is really good. Um, does this have anything? A little tiny thing right there. That's super... If it... Yeah, that's... It should be it. Yeah. These both have a shot for sure. So, huge, huge pack, guys. I mean, the OG Venusaur and the OG Jolteon. Oh. So far, I gotta say, this one... And that, um, oh, and we had the one with the Dark Vaporeon, which was a really good one. We got really good hits, but this is like a, a, a favorite of mine right here, Jolteon and Venusaur. I mean, come on. How can you beat that? The OG Venusaur with the green all around it from base set. And that's what I call one pack double magic. Boom. For Jordan D. Came back for a second try. Succeeded. That is awesome. Really cool. Boom. I love it. All right. Joshua Ada is here and says, has the Charizard been pulled yet? Not technically. We got the topper, but we haven't pulled a reverse or the hollow version of that card, which I'm sure we will. We got Mr. Alien here to help us out. So, let's go with, um, who we have next? Devin S. Is it Devin S? Yes. So, Devin S. is going in for one pack out of this box. Let me just double check them. Okay, yeah. Devin S. Going in for one pack. So we got the Evolutions, the Flareon, the Vaporeon, and the Jolteon. 
we're one pack. So we could get... It's already... We're already going to have one pack magic with the reverse. But can we get one pack double magic? Potion. Psyduck. Golduck. I bet you it's going to be a Psyduck. It is. And then it always changes to something else. Seal. So Dugong? Dugong. That's probably going to be... Maybe a Seal? A Seal. And then I don't know. Eevee. All right. Amistar. Not bad. All right. Evolves from Om, right? Beedrill. non hollow rare from base. We got one more shot for Devin S. Mankey is the reverse. So this one should be a common card. So Mankey as number 81 out of 110 in reverse hollow form. So you got to think about it like this. There are 110 different reverse cards that you can pull out of here. Ranging from the commons, the uncommons, the rares, the trainers, like everything. So you got to think like there's 30, there's still 36 chances, 36 different, um, you know, types of cards that you can get for reverse. So you have a, a bigger pool of amount of reverses that you can get, but there's also a larger span of the, of the amount of ver reverse cards that are in this set. So Mankey and the non holo rare Beedrill for Devin. So there we go. We're going to move on to the next pack. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're probably about 66, maybe not even, probably like 60% way through this legendary collection booster box opening. So there you go, Devin. Let's keep moving along. Let's go to the next person, which is on the next page. Mark N. So we got somebody going in for two packs. So let's see if we get the two-pack magic here. So the OGs and the OGs. Yo, let's go. All right, this might be a sign. We got two OG packs, the starters, the Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. Original base set artwork on the front of this legendary collection. Got the curved Wizard of the Coast logos on here too, which is really awesome. We'll go like that. We're going to go like that. Sometimes these fall apart a little bit. Okay. Voila. We got Firo. So Firo, Spiro. Firo? No. Abra. Kadabra, Abra, Drowsy. Hey, Ollie says the Zard is shy, so seismic seismic toss, seismic toss, the like button, like I'm a champ. Oh, I added the like I'm a champ part in there, but you guys know. Thank you so much. Ghastly, come on. I think this is a good pack. I just feel it. Moltres, another one that dropped my stomach for a second there. Not going to lie. We got Rhyme Style in the house. Second pack, we'll have a Charizard. Second pack, okay. Charizard's in here then. Moltres, and it could be in this one too. You never know. Vero! Vero reverse. It should be a rare. Uncommon. An uncommon, yeah. Uncommon from jungle. So Vero as the reverse. Now, Rhyme Style's here. And Rhyme Style just told everybody that the second pack's gonna have a Charizard in it. So let's see if Rhyme Style predicted the future. I'll even give the alien luck on this one. I don't know. I guess that'll. There we go. I don't know how to get the luck from Alien, but however we get it, let's see if the Charizard will appear in this pack. I'm really, I would be so, it would be so crazy if we got the Charizard in reverse and in hollow form. Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Bulbasaur, Caterpie, so it would probably be Metapod. Metapod. And then a Caterpie again. Yes, Caterpie. And then, I don't know, Nidoran. Nidorina? Nidorina. See, I can predict the future. And then, I don't know. What's it going to be? Pokemon Breeder is the rare, but we still got a shot for the reverse being a Charizard. Come on. Somebody just told me to kiss Alien. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Tauros is the reverse in this one. From Jungle as well. Uncommon. Boom. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I'm going to throw this in here. Like so. Card Saver 1. We got two reverse hits out of these packs for Mark N. Was it Mark N? Yes, Mark N. I'm sorry. There's so many people in this opening that I'm starting to lose. I got to stay Got to stay focused. Got to stay focused. There's like five pages of people in this one. Uh, because it's one of those sets where we had a lot of one-pack magickers. Oh, can I get that? There we go. Okay, so this is going in for Mark N. And we still got a lot more packs left. Probably, 
like 11 more, I'm going to guess. Let's see how many we got left. So Mark was... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got 12 more packs to go. Um, that's about, yeah, a third of the of uh, the box left. So, come on, guys. Let's get it. I got to rehydrate again. This this is an intense opening, guys. It's all right, Rhyme Style. Maybe you meant the next one. Oh, Pokedeek is calling Raichu. So next we got Justin D. All right, Justin, you got the legendary um, evolution. Legendary. I don't know why I said that. You got the evolutions on this one. Well, they're pretty legendary. It's coming out of a legendary box from the legendary collection. So, yeah, pretty legendary. So, Weedle to start it off for Justin D. Spiro, Firo, Spiro, yes. Gasly? No, Abra. Abra, Kadabra, Abra. Drowsy. Snorlax. How many more we got? One more. I think this is the rare coming up. All right. I'm going to close my eyes for this one. Alien. You just let me know how we do on this next one. Are we good? How do we do? Oh, yo, let's go. We got a dark version. Hollow. Out of this pack. Let's get it. Dark version. Oh, I love that. I love that card for Persian. I don't know what it is about this Persian card, but such a sick artwork. Like, it just looks so menacing. Side view and everything. How are we looking? We'll look a little closer in a little bit. Because we got one more card back here, which could potentially be even better than this one. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Hypno, yo, another one that's actually pretty good. I mean, this should be a rare. It is a rare. It's a psychic Pokemon. So we got some really nice double pack magic here. Let me throw this one in a penny sleeve as well. Very carefully. Like so. We're going to touch as minimally as possible, just right on the borders there. You never, obviously, you never want to touch the hollow or anything like that. So Hypno and Dark Persian out of one pack. Let's go. So I want to see the Dark Persian, uh, first of all, what that's going for in a PSA 10. Um, so Dark Persian, where are you? Persian, Persian. $500 or more roughly. And these are like ballparks. So it's, it's hard to say for a lot of these. And then Hypno, what are you worth? Hypno. But this, and guys, thank you for being patient. The list for these is crazy long. But about 250 bucks. So that's a solid two hits out of here. Uh, let's see this card. So it was looking pretty good, honestly. The centering's pretty good on here as well. The back. I mean, these cards are really good quality. And then sometimes you'll get the reverse with a line through it somewhere. But let's check this one out. Most of them have not had that line. It's like this one doesn't have it either. I don't see anything on this one. You got to try to hit the light on different angles for these. They're hard to see. But this one's clean. Centering's clean. The back. There's, so there's a little something right there. But usually you can have one or two little things. So yeah, these are. I mean, these are beautiful cards. Right, one of the biggest things you got to look for is like the print lines and stuff like that, and the centering, which these pretty much are really good for coming out of this box. Um, and then you get the occasional print line, or you get an occasional like corner ding or two, which you know PSA tens aren't perfect. That's the good thing about them is that you don't have to have a flawless like perfect because it would be impossible to get tens if they were had to be ex like perfect, perfect. You'd never get a perfect card. Dark Persian and Hypno, boom. Pokey Attic says, I love Legendary Collection. Tom B, what's up? Saying, is Aquapolis next week? Hmm, good question. A question that I unfortunately can't answer quite, quite yet. But if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show the next booster box opening. And don't forget, guys, we made a promise here in the Poke Cave that we're going to go for every single booster box ever made by Pokemon, and we're definitely going to make it happen. So whether it's next week or whenever, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So we got next in line is... Alan K. So it's a different Alan. It's not the Alan, the alien. I'm sorry. There's another Alan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's another Alan here. Not not the alien, but could potentially get alien like pulls. You never know. So let's see. That one kind of opened really easily. I don't know if that's going to mean something, but here we go. For Alan, the not alien, but maybe we'll get alien luck. Mankey. I like the polytoads we have in there. Come on. Mankey. Onyx. Dean said Skyridge. That would be crazy. Rhyhorn. Come on, guys. Yo! We got a Dark Dragonite. Let's go! Dark Dragonite from Rocket. Oh, yo. Let's go. 
Oh, I got to be really careful with this one. I'm gonna, we're going to look at this one in a little bit up close. That's what I'm going to do from now on. We'll, we'll just look at it up close after. But Dark Dragonite, let's go, yo. Oh, I love that card. From Rocket. Oh, I just looked at the price. It's, it's like $1,500 plus for a PSA 10. This is going to be a huge pack. Let's see what's behind here. Could we get another dragon? This is the, the other Alan. It's not the alien version, but it seems like it might be a, an alien at this point. Oh, everybody's freaking out. Everybody's freaking out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dodrio as a reverse. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Actually, really good. I mean, when you couple it with a dark Dragonite, the value-wise is crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here. I want to see what the value is for Dodrio, too, just because I want to see, like, the highest value packs that we get. Um, Dodrio is... It's not the most popular Pokemon, obviously, but let's. It, it could be like a low population card, which means that there's not a lot of tens. I'm not sure. I'm gonna check the price. See if we can even find price data on here. Dodrio, Dodrio, Dodrio. There's a long list of Pokemon over here. Dodrio, no sales data, so I can't comment on the price on that one. We got no sales data on this, on this, uh, these cards. But the Dragonite PSA 10, fifty nine dollars plus. I mean, it, it goes to. Sh I mean, of course, right? Look at this Dragonite. That's an awesome. Awesome looking card. Beautiful, beautiful card. Let's see. Got anything? A little tiny thing right there. If you guys could see. I don't know if you guys could see with the quality on uh, the stream. But that, I mean, that is a beautiful card, guys. The Dodrio. Going to look that a little closer here, too. Um, Do we have anything? I don't think so. I don't see. It's hard. It's really hard to see with these, especially like the... The silver ones like these. I don't see anything though, which is a good sign. So, Dark Dragonite and Do Drio out of one pack. That is the double pack magic. Double, no. It's double hit one pack magic. Something. That's an awesome pack. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> David says I'm changing my name to Alan. <laughs> Yo, all right, David, you really should. Legally change your name um, because apparently now everybody with the name Alan is lucky. So Alan K. Um, yeah. You got the uh, – anyone with the name Al, Al, uh, Alan – or yours is, named, yours is spelled differently, but still. Alan is going to have luck apparently now. Um, Litus. I think that's how you say your name. L-I-T-O-S-A is the last – first name – first letter last name. L I T O S. Lead us. I think that's what you say. One pack. Here we go. One pack. And you got the legend. Why do I keep saying legendary? You got the starters. You got the starters here. So we got a potion. We got an Omni. I want to see that Charizard. I think we could still make it happen. Mysterious fossil. And so with the mysterious fossils, they put them back to back literally, which is pretty interesting. Kabuto. Onyx. Geodude. Geodude Graveler. Geodude. Coming up on the last one, my dude. Geodude. Dark Slow, bro. Another hollow. Yo, back to back. What is going on right now? I think we were slacking on hollows a little bit for like the first part of the second half. So there's probably a bunch of hollows. Well, we, we are getting them. So we got Dark Slow, bro. Another one from Rocket. Someone said Aliens Resurrection of, is Alan. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, so we're going to look at this up close in a bit. Da, um, Slowbro, 200, 250 bucks in a PSI 10. But we still got one more hit. It's like the, the whipped cream, the cherry on the whipped cream. Nidorina, reverse. Nice. So a Nidorina is an uncommon card. Of course, evolves into Needle Queen. So let me get this Dark Slowbro very carefully. Like so. I want to be very careful with these before. And then once we get them in the sleeves. Because we got double trouble here. We got two that we got to look at. So the Dark Slowbro. Um, boom. So Don, thank you for the super chat. Originally from Jersey. Born and raised. And welcome uh, from Germany. Thank you for being here. So the Dark Slowbro actually has something going on. That is interesting. So there's like a... You see that over... I can't... There it is. It's like over its head. It's like a weird like scratch. It's like a hollow. It only goes down halfway though. But th so there is something on this hollow. The centering is really good though. It's a tiny bit. Nah, it's actually really good. Centering's really good. 
has a tiny little line on the, t the head there, and then the back is actually really good as well. I don't see I don't see anything on the corners on this one, um, but it has like that weird little mark right there. So I don't know. It has that has like one flaw to it. Let's check the Nina Arena out again. Let's see. Mm, don't see anything. I mean, you guys can tell me too. I'm I'm doing this so everybody could take a look at together, because I got my two eyes, and then we have how many people? Almost 1,700 times two. I can't count. There's a lot of eyes looking though. So we got a lot of people to, to be able to check these out. So double hits out of one pack. Um, awesome. I'll take it. So we're gonna throw these in the card saver ones per use, and then we're gonna continue down the line. We probably got like nine more packs left. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. It's almost an hour and a half in, but this is a, a set that I knew we were gonna go slower on just because it's so epic and there's so many hits. Like we gotta check out all the hits. Got to, got to. When are we ever gonna open this up again? When? I, I never really realistically. So there we go. The Geo dude going in. Close it up and go on to the next person, which is going to be, um, who is next? So, let's see. Um, what do we got next? The Allen dude said he bought, oh, wait a second. Oh, you're right. Hold on, guys. We have a little slip up, but I can fix it very easily. So, Letus was before. No, Letus was after Allen. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, okay, so Alan, yeah, you do have two. I have you on here. I don't, I can't show your information or anything, but I want to make sure everybody knows that that's legit. So Alan actually has two packs. So Alan, okay, I'm very sorry, but so this, the next pack in line was actually for Alan because I totally didn't see that. I just saw you guys in the chat. So yes, you're right. So uh, this one was actually for Alan. I apologize a lot for that one. Um, Never had that happen before, but luckily I fixed it very easily. So that's for Alan. Um, my apologies, guys. Like I said, I try to stay as focused as possible on here. Uh, but the good thing is we correct that very easily. So one second. Apologies, guys. Um, thank you for bearing with me. Never had that happen before. But yeah, so this was actually for Alan because you were, you had two packs. And I only gave you one and then Letus was up next. But that would have been your pack. So this is your pack. So... I apologize about that one. All right. So, Alan, that was for you because you had two packs. And then Letus has one. So, Letus, uh, this is going to be your next pack is this one officially. So, here we go. Corrected the mistake, but, um, yeah, sorry about that. Sometimes it's hard to see, you know, when, when I'm multitasking, I'm looking back and forth and checking everything. Um, I was bound to happen eventually, to be honest with you guys. It never – it hasn't happened in the last 30 videos, but – one time slip up, which was a quick fix. But Letus, this is going to be your pack officially. Um, so there we go. All right, here we go. Yeah, we got to keep it in line. I'm gonna. I got to stick to. I won't. I can't give him this one because it that would have been his, which is his. So we got to keep it going that way. Apologies, guys. All right, let's continue it on. We got an Eevee. an Amistar. We got a Pidgey, and yes. So Letus has the one. Yeah. Alan had two. Letus has one. Just want to double check. So Squirtle and War Turtle. So a nice pack there. And another Squirtle. And a Tentacool. Not bad. All right. We got a Tentacruel. We got a Tentacool again. So let's see if we get a hit again out of this one. Yo, let's go. We got a Gyarados. Yes. Yes. This is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Literally. And the luck is still here. Thank you so much, Alien. So Gyarados, and this is another one. This is three in a row for Hollows. And Gyarados is um, like $300 plus in a PSA 10. Let's go. Gyarados is looking really nice, but there could be, there is going to be something else back here. So let's see what it is. Hopefully something awesome. Yo, it's an Ivysaur. Let's go. We got the Gyarados. I got to throw this in a penny sleeve. I can't believe the luck that's coming out of these three packs here. So I think Alan just keeps spreading the luck or something. I don't know which Alan it is at this point. There's there's two. But we got the Alan, the alien. Then we had the other Alan. But anyway, so this is the two hits out of this. So the Gyarados was looking like $300 or so in a PSA 10. Then the Ivysaur, the original base set Ivysaur. I got to check this one out as well to see how this one is looking. 
Um, Ivysaur, where are you? If I could find you on here. Ivysaur, where are you? Ivysaur, 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 Ivysaur. About 250 to 300. Or, no, 200. What is that? It's hard to read it. Is that 200 to 500? Or 200 to 250? Either way, it's a card. It's a valuable card coupled with the Gyarados. So let's go, guys. I'm going to throw that in a card saver. So we had three really big packs back to back to back. Um, so, yeah. Boom. That's awesome. So Alan and lead us. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, by the way. I apologize ahead of time if I say your name wrong. But uh, three packs back to back. Sorry. Oh, come on. Let's go. Boom. Thank you guys for bearing with me again. This one's definitely an intense opening. And like I said, I always try to stay as focused as possible. But at the same time, I like to, I enjoy reading the chat with you guys and seeing what's going on. Um, but yeah, luckily that was a quick, easy fix. And everybody got some awesome pulls out of there. So can't complain about that. If I can get that in here. Come on. So I took the plastic off of here. So now it's sticky on top. So I got to be careful. All right. Come on. Let's go. All right. Boom. So lead us. There it is. We're going to continue on to the next person, which is Cruz. So Cruz is going in with one pack. Now i got to double check every time. So one pack uh, for that. Voila. All right. So Cruz, one pack, yes. I'd show you guys the list right now, but like I can't because it has everyone's address and full name and everything like that, but... Um, yeah. So, Sand Slash. Sand Shrew. We got a Rhyhorn. Actually, I'll show you guys this real quick. Just so I want to make sure everybody could see on camera. We don't do any funny business here in the Poke Cave, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to fold that. And I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to go like that. I'm going to cover that. And voila. So, you can see here that Alan, I don't want to give any, any information away, but Alan K., Went with the two packs, and then I messed up there, and then next was Letus. So, all right. There it is, for the record. So, we're going to continue on with Cruz. So, we got the Doduo. We got the Dodrio. We got the Doduo again. We got the Pidgey. Growlithe. Come on, let's get that Charizard. I've been waiting for a while now, and I know you guys have been too. We got a Dark Raichu, four packs back to back. Yo, let's go. Yo, so... Literally, what is this, four packs now? I think it's literally four packs in a row that we've got hollows. Now, the Dark Raichu is... What is... How much is the Dark Raichu? Dark Raichu... Oh, what? Yo, is that real? On this, apparently, Dark Raichu... Oh, yeah, this is a really hard one to get. Dark Raichu is like a $4,000 plus card in a PSA 10. I remember now, this is a really... Difficult one to get and same with the Blastoise. The population is super low on these so If you guys know what the population is on Raichu and Blastoise, let me know in the chat But this is the biggest hollow hit that we've got so far the dark Raichu if this grades a 10 Ballpark like four grand like literally ballpark four grand for Cruz and we got one more hit who knows what's gonna be back here Oh We got the Golduck. Mmm. This is a this is I mean, this is the biggest pack so far value-wise, I would say, with the Dark Raichu. If that were to get a 10, of course. It depends on what it would grade. i got to be very careful here. I'm going to put that in a penny sleeve. Again, thank you guys for bearing with me. Uh, I know this is going a little bit slower, but it's worth every second to me to be able to see all these cards up close with all of you guys here in the Poke Cave. Dark Raichu. Yo. So, I can see why it's hard to grade. Is that... Is that a print line? It's hard to... Yeah, oh, wow. There's a lot of print lines on this one. So that must be why the dark... Whoa! This could potentially be like a PSA 8, actually. I've never seen that many print lines on a card. You guys see that? There's like a lot. Like a lot of print lines. There's one, two, three, four... I can't even count them all. There's so many. But yeah, that's got a lot of print lines, and that must be why the card is so valuable in a PSA 10. But other than, the ba other than that, the back is really nice. Um, the centering is like really good as well. But the, the hollow, for whatever reason, I, I'm wondering if that's consistent on a lot of the dark right shoes. Uh, we got the gold luck in reverse. And that's another, you have to look on the reverses as well to see for print lines. I don't see any on that one either. So um, reverses have been really good. Most of the hollows have been really good except that dark right shoe. Uh, if anybody knows, 
if Dark Raichu or and even Blastoise, I would guess, if they are notorious for having print lines or what the deal is with it, um, or if it's just like this box that had it, maybe. But I feel like it's probably notorious for it then, if uh, all the hollows were coming out of here really nice besides this Dark Raichu. But yeah, a double hit again. That's four in a row. Uh, this one was for Cruz, so there it is. So we're going to throw this into here like that. And congratulations um, on those hits. It's really awesome to see the double hits out of one pack. I got I to gotta rehydrate. This is an intense opening. Like, this is a serious, serious, the intense opening. Come on, alien. Let's go. All right. So next up, we have Giacomo F. Going in for one pack. So, one pack for Giacomo. Let's see what we could do out of this pack with Mewtwo, Machamp, and Alakazam. So, I like the lineup on here. On this pack. It's one that you wouldn't really expect to see together, but it works. I mean, it's a solid lineup. So, we got Voltorb. We got a Bill. Magikarp. We haven't seen that one yet. Potion. Psyduck, Golduck, Psyduck, Seal, we got a Dugong, what are we going to have as the rare, we got the Mewtwo, so this is the one that's from the Black Star promo, this is the only card that wasn't from base, jungle, fossil, or rocket, they took a Black Star promo and put it in here, um, which is awesome because they definitely wanted to have Mewtwo in this set, so that was like basically um, one of their only choices back then, so let's see what we got as the reverse. Yo, we got Jolteon. Let's get it. So we got the Jolteon in hollow. And now we get it in a reverse form. And I feel like that Mewtwo non-hollow is probably worth something as well. I don't know what it's worth. I didn't have I don't have it um didn't have it written down, but we got the Jolteon with the fireworks. I definitely first of all, the artwork's amazing. Another one, another shout out to Gemmit Pokemon on this one. So Jolteon, let's check it out and see. What this one goes for, no sales data. No sales data. But I can tell you this, it's an evolution, number one. Number two, it's a rare. It's got the it's the original artwork. Um, it's got the reverse, really nice hollow reverse pattern on there. I mean, this card's gotta be valuable in a PSA 10 without a doubt. So it's probably hard to find, honestly. So yeah, the Jolteon out of that pack. I love it. Absolutely awesome. Boom. <laughs> Rhyme Style says, anybody that pulls the reverse Mewtwo, I'll buy that immediately. Let's see if we can pull that out of here. That's another one. There's just so many hits out of this set that you can't even think of all of them. Um, it's just crazy. Pogadeek with the Super Chat. Keep up the great work, Rev and Mize. I'll always have your back. Tell that person I want that Raichu. <laughs> yeah. So, Pogadeek. Um, yeah, if you want to sell that Raichu, hit up Pogadeek. And I appreciate you, Pogadeek, as always. Um, always here in the Poke Cave during the lives. So, all right. Next up, we have who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Paul L going in with one pack and one pack only. It looks like everybody here on out is going in with one pack. So, here it is. We got one, two, three, four, five, six packs left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So six more to go. We still got a chance, guys. We've got a bunch of chances. To make it happen. Boom. All right, guys. There it is. Boom. We got a Grimer. We got a Nidoran. A Nidorino. We got a Nidoran again. We got a Weedle. We got a Kakuna. A Kakuna Matata. A Weedle. A Spiro. Let's see what we're going to do. A Scoop Up is the rare. So a rare... Trainer, non hollow, and yo, we got an Abra. That's a Pokemon that I can definitely, I could definitely enjoy. Abra, I mean, it evolves definitely into some really awesome Pokemon, too. Kadabra and Alakazam, really popular Pokemon. And this is like the classic Abra artwork sitting under the tree. So, if you guys remember that from back in the day, um, just a really cool artwork. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the anime, to be honest with you, but a solid card indeed. So the Abra going in for Paul L. So, oh, we got Lootbox TV in the house. Yo, 
What's going on? Juice, good to see you here. Shout out to Juice and Andrew on Lootbox TV. You guys probably already know. You definitely already know who they are. Opening up crazy stuff all the time. Great guys. So, let's continue on to the next person. And that is going to be Devin S. So, Devin going in with one pack. One pack only. There it is. The legendary birds. The Atlantic Craft says how many left? We got five more left. So, we still got ten more shots at Charizard technically. Because you can get the reverse as well. Yo, Rev, big fan. Got any tips for growing a YouTube channel? It says Super Smash Pokemon. Um, honestly, you know what? The one thing that really has been... That one is really weird to open. Uh, <laughs> the one thing is honestly just staying true to yourself, you know? And make sure you're having fun. I know it sounds like gener generic advice. Arcanine, that's an original artwork as well from base. I know it sounds like generic advice, but really just as long as you're having fun and you're, you know, yourself and everybody else is having fun i think that's a great way to grow your channel and your community um and just be po you know stay positive and just never give up that's another thing stay consistent bulbasaur we're getting some really nice hits out of here bulbasaur ivy star the arc the arcanine and and uh you know just, just staying consistent and um yeah that's that's the advice that i would give caterpie well i'm just learning myself honestly so but that, we got a Beedrill. So Beedrill, non hollow rare. We're going to finish it off here with Machoke. Not bad. So an uncommon Machoke. A boss from Machop, obviously. We did get the Machamp as well in reverse, which was awesome. So Machoke, reverse. I wonder what this one goes for. I'm just curious. If I could find it on here. Machoke, Machoke, Machoke. Machoke, where are you? About 100 to 125 bucks, really. That's interesting. But yeah, so Machoke out of that one. We got four. How many more packs do we have? See, guys, I'm losing it a little bit. I'm like, got to stay focused to see how many packs we got left out of here. So that one was for Devin. Boom. Going in to the bag, like always. Devin S. Like that. Close it up. And move on to the next person who is Greg. So there should be one, two, three, four more. Yes. So next up we have Greg. And Greg's going with the one pack. I need to take another swig of the water for this one. Okay. They don't have water on your planet. Okay. Sorry. Legendary birds for Greg. Greg L. So one pack. A lot of one-pack magic. The Atlantic Craft says, imagine a complete set of reverse. Jay um, Licari says, open XY base um, and Fury's Fist. Simple yet satisfying. Yeah, XY base has definitely been going up a lot in value. I don't know why the bottom of these have been hard to open. Um, and Fury's Fist, we're definitely going to be doing... I'm thinking the Sundays, especially, are going to be like the bigger openings. Haunter, an awesome card. Um... We can hit on stuff within the past like five years, maybe for like five to seven years and hit more bigger openings so more people can jump in on it. Slowpoke, we got a Dratini. Come on, we got to see that Charizard. We still got a shot here. Dark Dragonair. I love the Dratini and the Dragonair. Magnemite, let's get a hit. Let's get the Charizard. It's about time. Come on, it's got to be in here. Pidgeotto, non hollow rare. And Grimer, the classic Grimer. <laughs> This is like a card that I feel like I see all the time. The classic Grimer. Like, I guess it's oozing out of the barrel there. Yeah, it's gotta be. Such a cool Pokemon. Grimer. Reverse. Alright, so we got... Was it three more left now, I think? So we got three... So we got six more shots at more of the big hits. <laughs> Eagle Music says Pokemon versus TCA Gaming Pack Battle. That would be cool. That would be pretty awesome. Mother of Zard says, Poker Rev, the intros have been hilarious. Def have been enjoying them. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that, Mother of Zards. Jerome says, Big Pool Energy. Yeah, let's get the energy. Come on, guys. Let's do it. We got three more shots. Well, six more, technically. Let's go. Come on. Let's get the energy up here. Let's get the good luck emojis. John C., you are getting one pack, and it is. Boom. 
the evolutions, the original trio, fire, water, and electric. That's what it is. You guys remember that episode when the three uh, Eevee brothers, they all had their Pokemon evolve. Well, there's four brothers, but the three of them evolved them all into each one of these, and they were trying to get the youngest one to evolve his Eevee, but he didn't want to do it because he liked the Eevee just the way it was. So there you go. Seal. See? There it is. The original Eevee. You know? Simple and still really awesome. Amistar. Pidgey. Come on. We got the Squirtle. We had Eevee, Squirtle, and Dark War Turtle. It's going to be another Squirtle. Yes. Another Squirtle. Come on. Tentacool. Come on. We want that Charizard. Tentacruel. Pidgeot is the rare. I see the energy, the good vibes coming in. Come on. Let's go. Alakazam, I will take that. Yo, that is a rare, the original base set, Alakazam. You guys remember, now, this is from the first original base. Alakazam is one of the original hollows you could pull. It's actually number one. Oh, they put it as number one in here as well. So number one in this set, too. The same thing with original, with base set. The original Alakazam, so I'm curious what this one's worth. Um, it's an awesome card. I mean, Abracadabra and Alakazam, really all three of them are awesome Pokemon to me. But Alakazam, um, what are you worth? I'm curious. I'm curious what you're worth. Curious, curious. In a PSA 10, of course, it would be. Uh, where are you, though, is the question. I don't see you. Um, I don't see you. I don't see you. I don't see you. Let me try one more time. Alakazam. We have, I saw Abra. I saw... Where's Alakazam? I saw Arcanine. Uh, I don't see it. I'm not sure, guys. If anybody knows the price on Alakazam in a PSA 10, I'm curious. But let's check it out up close. So, with the reverse cards in this set, they've been really clean. So, and they've been really well centered, which is really awesome to see. But we do, so I see there's a little tiny print line right there. That was another spot where I saw that in one or two other ones. It's hard to see it, but it's very faint. I'm curious if PSA would even catch that. But yeah, it's like right there. It's super, super faint. Really cannot see that one very well. But the corners are looking really good. The centering's really good. Actually, this has not a single corner flaw. Wow. So this is a beautiful card for Alakazam in the reverse hollow pattern. But come on, guys. We got two more packs in here. We got to make it happen. We could still get that Charizard. We've seen it happen before. I mean, we literally have Alien here. We had the other Alan. Um, we got it all. So can we do it is the question. All right. Come on. So, next we have Brendan S. for the second to second to last pack, guys, out of this Legendary Collection booster box opening, which has been insane. Um, hope you guys have been enjoying this because I know I have. So, guys, about four more shots here. Let's go. Come on, guys. Pokadeek with the super chat again. Thank you so much. Shout out to Rev, the greatest channel out here. Oh, thank you, Pokadeek. I really, I really appreciate that. I have, um, ooh, let me see here. We got a big announcement. I have the biggest announcement tomorrow and here on Instagram. Lots of hard work from everyone involved. I can't wait to show you all. Thanks for the support. Yo, Pokedeek, let's go. Let's see what Pokedeek has in store. Um, I'm curious to see. I'm I'm sure it's going to be epic because it's Pokedeek who is epic. You guys already know Pokedeek. You got to know Pokedeek. So let's see what it's going to be. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to hear about it. Nidoran. Nidorino, and you know if it's Pokedeek saying it's got to be crazy. Weedle, come on. Let's finish it strong. It's your boy Danny's blessing the next two packs with aliens and fire and stars. I love it, guys. Thank you so much for the support. Kakuna, come on, guys. Let's make it happen here in the Poke Cave. Yo, we got him a champ hollow. I'll take that. So this is going to be a double pack magic. Let's get it. Oh, that is the original Machamp. If you guys remember from base set. So we pulled this one in reverse. We pulled it in... Um, Hollow now as well. That's so cool to see that card. Like, back in this set. When it was originally in the base set. Like, it's such, a, like, an iconic original card. Like, everybody had this card if you got it in the theme decks. Um, but it's, like, super iconic. Wow. Machamp. I mean, we still got one more shot here. Come on. Let's go, guys. Let's see what it's gonna be. Yo, a Pidgeot! is another one that is also a rare. So Pidgeot from Jungle is the last reverse in there. I'm going to throw these in Penny Sleevers. We're going to take a quick, or Penny, I just said Penny Savers. 
I meant Penny Sleeves and then a card saver. So we're going to take a quick look at these. So we got the Machamp. Beautiful, man. These are coming out really nice. The centering is like beautiful. Spot on on here. Let's check the hollow out too. Let's see how this is looking. Yeah. I don't think I see anything on this one. I don't really see anything on the hollow in this one. So it looks really clean to me. The back is really nice. So the Machamp. And what is this one worth in a PSA 10? Let's see. 500 bucks or so. So that's a solid hit there. The Machamp. And then you got the Pidgeot as well. And then you got all the non hollows So Pidgeot. Let's see. Hmm. So. Oh, so we got that print line back, guys. So that's the one right there. So it must be on the same side as the other ones that have that line. So it's pretty interesting to see it on. I probably saw that line on three cards, three or four reverse, if I remember correctly. But guys, we need everything. We need everything right now. Um, let's go. We need everything, really. This is it, the final, final pack. Let me throw these in the bag here for Brendan S. And thank you so much, Brendan, for being a part of this. And congratulations on your hits there. But Jamie S., you are the final person in this legendary booster box opening or legendary collection booster box opening this is the final pack Ooh, i'm going through a lot of water come on guys let's get last pack magic alien let's go let's get the energy up on this final pack and make sure you stay till after this final pack is opened because i'm going to show you guys what the next booster box opening is going to be where you can grab it some packs if you're interested but this is it, the final pack. Can we get the Charizard out of this final, final pack? Come on, we need everything right now for Jamie S. Come on. Human Machamp giving $2 for pulling a Machamp, lol. Thank you so much. Um, D Just Moore was your name in there. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it from the Human Machamp. All right, come on, guys. This is the final pack. We need everything right now. Alien, come on, dude. I don't want to knock you over here, but let's go. Bring the luck. All right. Be careful. Don't fall. Dratini. Magnemite. The boss's way. We got a Voltorb. Let's go, guys. We need everything right now in the chat. Pikachu. Yo, that is a good sign. The jungle Pikachu. Tauros. Magnemite. Come on. Come on. Pikachu. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. Cedra, all right. This is the final two cards behind here. We got two shots at a Charizard, two shots at a Blastoise, two shots at um, Venusaur, Gengar. I mean, there's so many. Articuno, I think. Come on, all right. Final shot. Final shot. Oh, Magneton. non hollow rare. We got one more. We could still get the reverse Charizard out of this. Last card. Last pack. Come on, guys. Come on. For Jamie S. Yo, we got a Zapdos. All right, I'll take that one. So we got a Zapdos reverse as the final hit for Jamie S. Out of this legendary collection booster pack. We got one of the legendary birds. Now, it wasn't a Charizard, but still an awesome hit. One of the legendary birds. There's Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. We got the Electric Zapdos, an original base set card. So congratulations on your hit, Jamie. But that's not it, guys. I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to show you guys what the next booster box is going to be coming up for next Tuesday. And thank you guys that are all still here for sticking out um, on this opening. That was close to two hours long. I know it was, a, it was a long opening, but we had to sit back and enjoy this because you never see this box in particular get opened with all the hits and everything like that. But the next booster box that we're going to be opening up on Tuesday, so one week from now, which you can get at thepokecape.com as soon as they show it on the screen, not quite yet, is going to be, boom, a gym challenge unlimited booster box. Now, like I said, we're opening every single booster box by Pokemon that ever was released in English, and we did this in first edition, but we haven't done it in limited. So every single opening that we've done so far here live in the Poke Cave has been all new, never done before. We're going in for the Charizard in this set as well. There's so many other um, cards in here, 
and you have all the original OG Pokemon uh, gym leaders on this front there. So all their Pokemon are in this set. You can grab them at thepokegave.com right now. But besides that, on Thursday, we're going in on a black and white Plasma Free. So if you like this era of Pokemon, jump in on it. If you've never heard of it or you never experienced the cards, I guarantee you're going to like it because there are so many cards in all these different generations and eras that everybody is really starting to get into even more. Or You didn't grow up with it, but you're starting to appreciate it a lot more now. Um, so black and white Plasma Freeze. And besides that, I have an Evolutions Booster Box case that we're opening up on Sunday. So you guys are going to want to stick around on Sunday. I'm trying to get Veronica back in here. So maybe you guys can help me out and get her back in here. But an Evolutions case. Can you hold up for me, Alien? No? Okay. And besides that, I forgot to announce the winner of the giveaway from last week. So I'm going to do that right now. It was um, Vang Orang, I think it was. Vang Orang is how you say it. And they said, it was the question was, which Pokemon would you have as your best friend in real life? You could pick one. They said Machamp because they can't open up jars very easily. So if you have Machamp, it's going to be a lot easier. You're gonna, And they get the two Rebel Clash, two Roaring Skies, two Ultra Prisms, two Evolutions, Courtesy of Kevin's Collectibles. Collectibles with a K. Make sure you check them out. Huge shout out to him. Thank you so much. And thank you guys, as always, in the Poke for being here and being a part of all these awesome booster box openings. Who wouldn't be able to do it without all of you guys and all the mods in the chat as well? Links to them are in the description down below. But that is going to be it, guys. I hope you guys have a great night, and I will see you on the next one.